Let's prove that tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. In the figure below, O is the center of the circle. So O here is the center. A and B are points on the circle. So A and B are the points on the circle. And triangle OAP, that means this triangle, and triangle OBP, that means this triangle are right angles. What we have to prove here is that AP is equal to BP. Here, P is a point which is external to the circle. Points A and B are on the circle and O is the center of the circle. PA and PB which we have to prove equal are called tangents to the circle. Tangent PA is perpendicular to radius OA at the point of contact A. Similarly, tangent PB is perpendicular to radius OB at the point of contact B. In triangles OAP and OBP, that means in this triangle and in this triangle, let us look at the corresponding parts. OP is equal to OP as this is common to the two triangles. OA is equal to OB. This is the radius of the circle and angle OAP is equal to angle OBP each equal to 90 degrees. This is given to us. If we can prove that triangle OAP is congruent to triangle OBP very easily by CPCT, we can say that AP is equal to PB. If we see in triangles OAP and OBP, both are right-angled triangles, hypotenuses of both of them are equal, and one pair of sides is also equal, OA is equal to OB, these two triangles are fulfilling all the criteria of RHS rule of congruency. Therefore, we can say that triangle OAP is congruent to triangle OBP by RHS congruency rule. Therefore, by CPCT, we can say AP is equal to PB. And this is what we had to prove in this problem. Let's summarize how we have solved this problem. In right angle triangles OAP and OBP, hypotenuses and one of the corresponding sides are equal. Then, in triangles OAP and OBP, we prove them congruent by using RHS congruency rule and from CPCT, it follows that PA is equal to PB.